okay then let's get it started so uh, like uh, so we have been discussing about uh, the collectors class right collectors the collectors class uh, so again collectors is a class in uh, which is available in java.util.stream package so it contains many static methods so which will help us to perform the reduction operations so the main uh, intention of the collectors class is to this point is very important to uh, accumulate or to copy the data from the stream objects to the collection object collection like array list uh, like set like map right so these are the operations that you can do with the collectors class and uh, the most basic operations are like reduction operation we can do reducing operation uh, summarizing operation grouping operation and uh, partitioning operation so we are on the verge of completing the grouping operation so what are the methods so far that we have discussed we have discussed about the counting method max by method uh, min by method right to find the minimum uh, entity in an object a uh, summing int to find total calories something like that average int averaging it an example is to find the average number of calories average calories in a uh, particular list of dishes so summarizing this kind of concept like uh, to to get the all the static uh, statistics example the minimum uh, calorie ma maximum calorie average calorie total calories things like that but apart from this we have also discussed about uh, the uh, joining and reducing methods in uh, java 8 right so especially we have discussed about the joining method which is going to return the uh, string data type as the output right so you we use strings uh, so we have seen some examples a uh, joining method which has a uh, overloaded methods right so it can take a delimiter in the, you can refer to my previous videos in reducing method we have also discussed to find the summing maximum finding the maximum entity or minimum entity apart from this uh, grouping my method okay now we are discussing about the grouping my method so we have started discussing about the multi level grouping so in the multi level grouping uh, like you know need to uh, introduce not introduce i want you to understand uh, the how the flow goes so we have already understood about this so i want to introduce a better example right so look at this example uh, the same example i want to take the same example so so i let me copy all this okay let me paste it paste it to the page screen okay so you are able to see we have uh, you know eight number of dishes right we have how many dishes eight number of dishes we uh, okay we have eight number of dishes and if you see this dish, dish uh, see it depends upon the requirement yes. it depends upon the it, it is completely depends upon the requirement if whenever i say single level grouping always remember single level grouping means so you are going to uh, take a map first okay you're going to take a map and you are going to specify a key and you are you are also going to specify the value this is for single level grouping single level grouping okay see see the idea here is very simple see if you want to uh, uh, just look at the properties that you have okay you have the uh, name property so inside a dish again there are five properties five five, I mean, uh, five properties one is the name property name of the dish second one is what the calories right so let me do this calories you have third one is uh, it is going to say whether the food is a vegetarian or non-vegetarian food and fourth one is the style and the fifth one is the price amount okay and if you do a common observation this style is a kind of a common entity right so it is a repetitive right you see vegetable style again you see restaurant again you see vegetable style so it means that 
some foods are categorized under vegetable style, I mean, not vegetable, village style, and some foods are categorized under uh, restaurant style, and some foods are categorized under processor style. So here it, it is not unique actually, it is repetitive actually, isn't it? Right? So if you want to uh, like differentiate food according to the according to the style, right? You want to differentiate food according to the style. So only one thing you can do, right? Style. What do you mean when I say style? So style, there are how many styles? Three styles, right? Village style. Play style, restaurant style, third one is what processor style. Okay, you want to ensure that you are using the grouping by method, okay, and again the grouping by method is going to return a map, I mean, return a map. Okay. So these are going to be what keys of the map. This is going to be one key. This is going to be another key, and this is going to be a key. Keys are unique, right? So these are going to be key. So again, again under this keys, we are going to have the list of objects. So it is going to track the list of objects that is falling under this category, which is going to track the grouping by method. So how you define the grouping by method? How you declare the grouping by method? The same example. The declaration should be like this. Okay, the return type. I mean the a return type should be like this map okay so village style restaurant style processor food style they are falling they are falling under these properties right so this is at, i mean uh, designed under the string data type right go back and see the styles okay the styles that i am talking about okay. is of what is under the type okay again type is what type is string Data type is string. First, try to catch the data. First, try to uh, get the data type. String data type. Right? So, in the map, the key is going to be string always. Because you are trying to fetch the type, which is of string type. Village style, restaurant style, process style is of string type. So, it should be, must be, definitely must be string, right? Values. So, when I say value, see. Uh, each and every type is going to uh, like you know fetch some uh, list of objects right they're going to fetch some list of objects right village style has some list of objects under this category list of dishes under this category restaurant style has some list of dishes under this category and processor food has some list of dishes under this category so obviously the value should be what list of dishes And able to get it single i mean i'm explaining about single level to, uh, grouping to because uh, you may feel uh, like you know little bit uh, uncomfortable even though we have seen this uh, videos i mean uh, classes a lot of time right so under the uh, like you know the query could be like this the java 8 query when i say query java 8 query so dishes dot stream dot right collect Collector is collect is going to have uh, the collectors class. Inside the collectors class, there is a method called grouping by method. Isn't it? Collectors class and grouping by method. So this grouping by method is going to accept a function. Okay. Please ensure that this function, the function that you are writing. Okay. So uh, the key you need to extract the key. The key is of string type. Okay. and again this string is all about what all about the food style right food style okay. again this processor food village food restaurant style okay they are declared on, under the variable name called what type variable name type variable name okay. the function should extract the type it should extract the key actually keys keys should be extracted i I as a, uh, let's take as, uh, the I as a variable which is accepting the dish object. From the dish object, extract the type. The moment you extract the type, now this is done, the query is completely done. The moment you extract the type, the grouping my will, method will take care. Okay, you are extracting the type, it will extract the types such as uh, you know uh, the village style, restaurant style, and the processor style. Okay, village style restoration all the keys will be extracted okay 
then it will take care of what are the objects that are that are categorized under the village style uh, you know uh, restaurant style and process food set very simple right okay. always remember key when you want to uh, make a category make that category under the key right for the single level grouping even uh, multi level grouping is also the same thing one or the less same thing okay let us understand that let's uh, remove that confusion from your heads okay let me take the same example single level grouping and multi -level. a multi level grouping is nothing but a kind of grouping a group within a group Let it be like this. Okay, my my requirement, my actual intention is very simple now. So I want to do what? I want to uh, differentiate food. So when I say differentiating a food according to the type, for example, uh, so I am working with multi level grouping. Okay, my requirement is firstly I want to uh, first level grouping. First level grouping should be i want to categorize the food under types so what are the types we have village style restaurant style and you know it is repetitive not saying it is not village style is again coming for the next time okay so it must be like there are many village style foods there are many restaurant style foods and there are uh, many process style food okay i want to differentiate the type first first level grouping okay? first level grouping should be what types village style uh, restaurant style and and again uh, the processor style right first level grouping after doing this okay, after doing this my second level grouping should be what under village style i want to place three more categories a subtypes i want to place under village style under restaurant style i i want to place some some subtypes Not able to select this. Okay. see I, I have taken this once again i'm not able to select the selection okay let it be so what i want to do i want to uh, categorize the type as first category the village style restaurant style or processed food style okay this is the first level grouping okay first level grouping so after doing this uh, bs rs and PS process style, first level grouping. My second level grouping should be like under village style. I want to place, uh, uh, I want to place three other keys. Okay, my three other keys should be like whether the food is uh, affordable or not. The price of the food, price category is is it normal or is it expensive? Expensive. Okay, like this, I want to. Uh, I want to create a subcategory under each main category, multi level grouping. Okay. Affordable, normal, or expensive. 
each and every category each and every main category should have these three sub categories are able to follow okay affordable normal and expensive right so this is what this is the again this is the this is the sub the second level okay this uh, affordable normal expensive these are the second level this is the first level second level okay. after this i am going to have the list of object okay each and every, each and every uh, category as well as a sub category under the sub category i am going to have list of these objects if there is any list of this object that needs to get printed in the console that is my actual requirement right if there are yeah, you know uh, under each and every category i want to uh, extract the these objects and i want to store it in the map so this is my requirement right so by looking at this diagram what is the category category is talking about what types right types our variable name is type okay let us write a map for this okay map map so the category the main uh, the main first level this is first level first level this is what first level okay the first level uh, the key should be what the key should be what string type why string type because this village style restaurant style uh, processed food style is placed under a property uh, the, and the name of the variable is what uh, you know the data type for this respective variable is what string that's why i'm taking this step. first level okay. the second level second level is about affordable normal and expensive and if you see we don't have any such uh, uh, you know uh, objects you will not have any such values inside each and every dish, dish object okay so we have we have the name we have the calories we have the uh, is vegetarian and non vegetarian we have the you know style and we have the price money but uh, there is no such thing called affordable normal and expensive so you want to introduce this how we will introduce this you will introduce this in the form of enums okay you will introduce an enum like uh, public enum enum constants enum right pricing okay inside this you know we will place you will add the sub category which is what normal affordable what is the last one expensive Okay, because uh, this is a sub category which is you cannot uh, you know you don't see this here right you want to introduce it how we will introduce it you will use an enum okay what is the name of the enum pricing okay so again inside this you will take another map okay inside this another map you take the sub category as the key which is what pricing enum name okay, okay. see uh, now we have done with the uh, first level so we have also done with the second level what is the final level final level is what you want to uh, display the list of objects list of what objects list of dishes the list of dishes that is for falling under the type category and again the sub categories whether the dishes are affordable normal or expensive okay so that's why here the value the uh, you know the value is going to be what list of this is how the return type should be this is how the return type should be okay. this is representing the first level category this is uh, representing the uh, second level category this is the list of dishes in, in, you know you are taking a map inside a map that inside map is a is part of the key of the outside map so this is the complete key again again inside the I mean, uh, I mean, it is a complete value again. I'm sorry. From the outside map, it is a complete value again. And since it is a map, and there is an internal key also, right? So this is the main category. This is the sub category. 
under subcategory you have list of dishes multi we are talking about multi level grouping are able to follow right how to write a logic for this very simple very very simple okay. dishes dot stream convert the dishes to stream dot and you do what uh, you take uh, the collect method okay, inside the collect method you take uh, collector start grouping by method this grouping by method will accept a function always remember now focus here okay. the first grouping by method the outer grouping by method will always accept the will always return the key key of the outer map so this one key is of what type string type right so this string we are talking about what we are talking about the type right okay. you have to ensure that you are returning the type the string type which is what i dot i lambda expression i dot type comma okay now again okay uh, there you need to take another grouping by method since uh, the return type is a map within a map so a grouping by method within a grouping by method right so again you will take collectors dot grouping by method so you will try to you will try to uh, write a lambda expression in such a way that it is returning the pricing category that we will see in the program second second key you should return the second key so the moment you return the outer key and the moment you return the inner key outer key and moment you return the inner key okay so all the objects will be arranged accordingly so grouping by method will take care of Taker arranging all the objects that is falling under the main category as well as the subcategory with respect to the lambda expression that you are specifying here. Right? Let us understand this. Okay, my requirement is I want to uh, first, I mean, outer group should be classified as type, inner group should be classified as whether it is affordable or whether it is normal or whether it is expensive. Dish. Right. How I can write the uh, like you know the grouping by how I can achieve this by using the multi-level grouping? Take a map. Okay, inside the map, uh, since uh, the outer outer key, okay, differentiation is type. So I am taking it as a string because it, these properties are uh, corresponding to the string data type. Right. So multi-level grouping. So again, I am taking a map inside a map. Right. So here. I want to introduce the whether it is an affordable or whether it is a normal or whether it is an expensive dish, right? For that, I am taking an enum. What I am taking here? I am taking an enum. Public enum. Uh, the name of the enum is pricing. Okay, I want to introduce C3 subcategories. Normal category, comma. Uh, what uh, affordable comma expensive the three categories so let us take the affordable in the beginning affordable normal and expensive the three categories okay, i want to i want to have these types this enum types as the subcategory so what is the name of this enum pricing right so inside the map there is a map so here i will be taking the type as pricing okay comma so i want to uh, see main category sub category i want to display the object so objects will be what objects will be like dish objects and this is how the return type should be list of dishes after this i will be adding a name uh, what name we can take Oops. Foods, under, foods under price okay now take the dishes data source dot convert it to stream 
Okay, after having it converted to stream, uh, let, let us take the collect method. So we are discussing about multi-level grouping, right? I'm taking a new line. Collect method. The collect method, since you want to use a multi-level grouping, use the grouping by method first. Okay, the first grouping by method has to ensure that it is returning the category what category that you want to uh, place the dish uh, I mean, under what category you want to place all the dishes main category string type so here string is representing what the style I mean, the type of the codes right so i lambda expression get the object and return the type the outer grouping is completed right comma okay and inner grouping for inner grouping again you will take what again you will take grouping by method Again, you will take grouping my method. So this grouping my method has to have a logic, inner grouping logic. What is that inner grouping logic? Okay. So you need to return what? So pricing. Okay. And this pricing should be returned in such a way. Okay. You need to uh, see outer grouping is string. Okay. Here you have village style. The uh, lambda expression is clever enough to identify. Under village style, it has chicken biryani, it has vegetable rice, it has uh, chapati, and it has prawn biryani. So it is already there inside the list. But for the pricing, okay, for the pricing, if you see, it is our own definition, it is our own declaration, affordable, normal, expensive. How the grouping my method will understand how to how to do this differentiation? So for that differentiation, you need to write a logic. Are able to follow? To do this differentiation, you need to write a logic. How we will write a logic for to do this differentiation? Okay. This grouping by method will accept a lambda expression. Let me take J. Okay. So you are writing a lambda expression here. How we are writing a lambda expression? If J dot price. Okay. You will extract the price case. Very simple. You will extract the price. If the price is greater than or equal to 200, okay. If the price is matching this condition, if the price is matching this condition, you will return what? Since it is uh, lesser than 200, you would say, hey, it is lesser than 200, let us keep it under the affor affordable price. Anyone can afford to buy this. Sir, no. So, pricing dot affordable. Okay. Now the lambda expression is very clear enough to understand that okay now the category subcategory is also defined how it is defined if it is affordable it should ensure that all the dishes objects should fall under this category it's your job but for for the uh, outer for the outer uh, category for the outer uh, grouping for the outer grouping by method there is no such thing because you are directly specifying the type from the type it can able to extract the dishes is already there right now uh, for the subcategory or for the inner grouping it's your job to do this right else okay if the price is lesser than or equal to uh, 350 let us take something like 350 okay you will have to return what normal normal second thing right if this if this both conditions are not matching return pricing dot expensive that's it right this is how the lambda expression can be defined okay so outer grouping by method will take care of type the inner grouping method will take care of the subtype which is affordable normal and expensive okay and the grouping method will differentiate the objects according to the condition that you have specified in this lambda expression right so the moment you print this okay, the moment you print system dot outer print ln uh, puts under price
Okay. you get under under restaurant style outer category and inner category normal food okay affordable food okay and uh, so this is not uh, what we call it as very much readable right so let us make it readable since we are directly printing the reference variable of the map obviously it is, go, it is not going to be much readable so what i want to do it here i want to use the for each method okay remove this Take the reference variable puts under price puts under price dot for each the for each method will accept the consumer okay. and again for the for each method so we are using puts under price right puts under price is what the map type okay. the first value is string and the second value is map so please listen listen to this first value is of string type second value is of map type the moment you use this variable puts under price and the moment you use this for each method it will accept two uh, two uh, arguments why two arguments puts under price is of again map type map has two arguments right out i mean uh, the key argument and the value argument right so you can write any names here i can write like uh, you know the types comma or else let us take it as i comma j if I ask you what is i comma j you should be clever enough to answer okay i is of string type and j is of map type remember this okay so you are using again internally you are using a lambda expression this is a by consumer okay lambda expression okay and focus here, focus here. I is what? I is string type, J is J is the map type. So you want to print the I. Just want to print the I. If you run this piece of code, okay, this uh, method will ensure see restaurant style, process type village. Keys are getting printed right? because I is of what? String type. Okay, you are completely you, you are using this put under price method, guys. Puts under price method you are using. Puts under price method is of this type, right? And you are using the for each method. You are taking two variables, i, comma, j. Okay, this i is representing string, which is what type. We are talking about the type. This j is representing what? This complete thing. Okay. Now I am just printing the type. I am using the lambda expression. I am printing the type. So we got types. Okay. Let us uh, uh, make it more uh, sensible. More sensitive now see after printing the type let me instead of printing like this put type yes okay now it will be more readable see put type restaurant style okay Food style, restaurant style, um, process style, style. Okay. After this, I want to extract J. So again, J is of map, map of list. I mean, uh, map and inside the map, pricing and list. Okay. Now, what I want to do? Again, I want to use the uh, J. J dot internal. I want to use the for each uh, method, which is going to accept a consumer. I am giving two variables to catch to catch pricing and to catch list of dishes okay this time the variable names can be j uh, k comma l any name you can give right and again a lambda expression uh, within the lambda expression okay. i am taking another lambda expression within the lambda expression okay now this k is representing pricing and this l is representing list of dishes okay. let me extract what is k system dot outer print alert. let me extract k okay. now if you print the output see uh, food type restaurant style under restaurant style you have uh, normal affordable expensive food style processed style under processed you have only affordable affordable food because uh, the grouping by method is trying to extract the data according to the logic that you have given here right and last one village style in the under village style you have normal affordable and expensive right so i want to i want to print what list of dishes under each category so i am taking the uh, for each loop when an answer for loop so dish 
ax inside l so this l is what list of digits right i am taking this here okay. system dot outer print ln i what i want to print only the names i want to see that's it or names uh, uh, or else i also want to see the price plus x dot price right that's it Auditor some dot x dot name plus x dot price. Okay, the moment I run this code, put okay, type restaurant style. You have normal okay. Under normal category, you have fish curry, uh, 300 rupees. Under affordable category, you have dosa. Under expensive category, you have mutton fry. Again, put type process style. You have only one uh, category, affordable category, which it chooses. Again, put type village style. Okay. Let us make it more readable. Let me introduce one line here. Let me also introduce uh, uh, one more line here. Okay. Okay, now you can see this output okay so this is the uh, style outer category outer category outer category right and this is what under each and every outer category uh, you have what an inner category which is going to give you a definition like whether it is a normal affordable or expensive okay? uh, affordable normal affordable expensive okay? and when you talk about the objects okay, under normal category you have fish curry Okay, under expensive category, uh, I mean fish curry, uh, under affordable category, you have dosa, under expensive category, you have mutton fry. Right? So, even for the processed food, you have uh, what? Uh, the juices, only juices you have. First, in the data, you have only juices, only juices that is matching the condition. Right? Under normal, again, you have uh, vegetable rice, I mean, under uh, the village style, you have chapati. And you have uh, expensive what you have chicken brain and prawn biryani. Okay. So these are what these are the objects. These are the list of objects. These are the list of objects. Right. These are the list of objects. Total eight objects are there list of objects so these are the values list of let me do it like this you have a map okay, first is string okay, the key is string okay, the key that i am talking about is the key that i am talking about is this one okay, this one After this, you are placing a subcategory. Again, the subcategory you are taking a map, and when you take map again, that should be a key. The subcategory is what pricing, right? Pricing. Come on. The pricing that you are talking about is whether it is uh, uh, you know uh, the uh, normal this one, okay? Expensive, affordable. Like they likewise, uh, all the subcategories, okay. And uh, you have normal, okay. You have affordable, and you have expensive subcategory, main category, subcategory. After that, you have what list of objects, list of 
fishes which is nothing but the objects so which i have just defined here which has just been defined here this one stuff objects they will to follow Okay. So that's why you are taking a map inside a map and a grouping by method inside a grouping by method. Right? So this is how you can understand the uh, what are the multi-level grouping. And uh, you can also do this. Okay, there are there are few more examples. So sometimes a requirement would be like let me remove all this. Let me remove this. sometimes the requirement would be like uh, as simple as this for example now you see now see what i am doing i'm using the grouping by method grouping by method will will not only accept the multi-level grouping it will also accept some other arguments which i am showing now see, i want to understand see, my requirement is guys i want to just print the count we under village style how many foods are there you have chicken biryani you have uh, vegetable biryani and you have chapati and you have prawn biryani four the count is four right under processed style the count is one only one okay i want to ensure that the trees are uh, the style and uh, the each and every style is going to give the count just give the count how i can achieve this okay let me take stream comma long return type is long okay string is the type this long type is what is going to give me the count taking uh, the counting uh, as a variable is just dot stream dot collect collectors dot so again take the grouping my method if the key should be what type i accept input as i and do i i i dot type if comma Comma, the second argument the grouping my method will take a second argument as the counting method okay, you can directly use the counting method collectors dot counting method that's it okay. this uh, grouping by method will accept one argument which is which is going to extract the key from the extracted key you are using the uh, the second argument is what counting method so the key the key is going to I mean the grouping method is going to count how many uh, how many corresponding uh, corresponding uh, values are there for that particular key if i print this as an example uh, Counting the restaurant style, there are three foods, process style, there are one food, period style, there are four foods. You can also do like this. This is one of the ways by using the grouping method. I'm just trying to uh, uh, make you understand that what are the uh, available scenarios uh, along with the grouping by method, what are the things that you can do. It's not just about the restaurant uh, uh, things like that. Okay. What are the major things that you are that you are, that you can do by the grouping my method? So that understanding I'm giving it to you. Making sense? Right. So another example is like uh, this one example. Okay. Another example is like I want to take a map. I want to take a string. So this example is going to be interesting. String. The value is what optional. Optional type. Optional type of dishes. Optional is nothing but it handles in alpha and exception. We'll see that in the next classes. Okay. Testing. Dishes dot stream dot collect okay this is dot stream dot collect uh, 
now you see guys collector start i am taking the grouping by method okay this grouping by method is going to uh, extract the type of the tissues okay. after extracting the type of the tissues what i want to do it here i want to type i want to find the maximum calories under each and every type maximum calories okay. see uh, collector start there is a method called max by method which will accept a comparator so we have seen these methods already the previous classes so there is a method called comparing int method is there right so this comparing it int method i am just passing the calories here calories okay let me do this calories. that's it so what it is going to give you now understand this code I am using the grouping by method which is going to extract the key of types which means it is going to filter village style, restaurant style and process style and again I am using a max by method it is going to get the which this has the maximum calories under village style it is going to give the answer which gives which this has the maximum calories under the restaurant style which this has the maximum calories as under the uh, processor style that information we will get System dot outer printl and testing. Now you see the right, under restaurant style. Okay, there is a dish called mutton fry which has maximum calories 650. Right? Okay, under under processor style, okay, we have the dish called juices, which is what 80 maximum calories. Under village style, we have a dish called prawn biryani, which is which has maximum calories 560. 560. You want to if you want to find the minimum calories instead of using the max by method, you can use the what min by method. Okay, the complete opposite. Okay, the minimum calories will be given. Right. So you got dosa now. Previously you got chicken brain, you got dosa now. For the process style, juice as itself because only one value is there. So no no changes. For the village style, you have chapati. Even like this, you can manipulate the data. Like this, you can able to extract the data very specifically. What I'm saying is, we have uh, this many options under uh, you know each and every each and every concepts, right? And also, you can also find total number of calories under each and every type. Okay, how I can find that? Very simple. My requirement is. I want to find under village style how many how many uh, how many number of calories are there? How, uh, restaurant style how many number of calories are there? And again I want to find uh, process style how many number of calories are there? Total number of calories I want to find. Before that I am taking I am removing this. My output should be what total number of calories in integer right? So I am taking it as integer value. Okay, let me remove this. Total number of calories. Dishes dot stream dot now you see now you see same thing collect till collect and collectors grouping by mother till that it is going to be same collect collectors dot grouping by mother okay, inside the grouping by methods you have written the key which is of what type i i dot type okay after this the group, grouping by method as a second argument right you want to return the total number of calories under the each group okay. again take the collect collectors dot uh, there is a method called summing it okay. in the summing it you just want to return what you just want to return the calories okay System dot outer print ln total number of calories. Now you see the output. Restaurant style uh, that this much calories, process style only this much calories, village style only this much calories. Okay. Instead of summing it, you can also do averaging it. Okay. But for the averaging end, the return type should be what? The return type should be double.
and you get what? You get the average calories under each and every disease. Like this, you can you can play with all the methods. See, you have like uh, uh, you, you have something like the uh, summarizing it. See? The return type of summarizing it is what int summarize int summary statics. At the moment you do this under each and every category there will be a statics the restaurant style look at the statics restaurant style there are three count okay the sum of the calories 1070 minimum calorie food 120 average calorie food this one and the maximum calorie you have and for the processor style the count is one everything is going to remain the same because only one step is there under process style right and for the uh, uh, village style the static total statics looks like this Complete static data you are getting. So this is how the Six Figgy or uh, Zomato. This is how they design the application for the data extraction internally. These are the internal things, right? So by using one method, you can ensure that you are playing with uh, the all all the other all the other remaining methods. Are able to get? Okay, one last one last thing is there so see uh, this is also one of the thing i want to show after this we will close okay very simple this one let me take a map the so return type is string and uh, the uh, you know when the key is string and the value is dishes not list of dishes only the dish we take the reference variable as uh, for simplicity now we focus here and we we'll try to understand what i am doing so dishes dot i am taking the stream but i am using the collect method Okay. Now, folks, understand. Try to understand what I'm doing it here. Okay. Collector start grouping by. I am taking the grouping by method. Okay, this grouping by method is going to uh, return the type. Okay. After returning the type, again I am using the collectors class. Dot. So I want to use what? I want to use something like there is a method called collecting and then method is there. Okay. This collecting and then method will accept the two arguments. Going to accept how many arguments? Two arguments. Okay, the first argument is it is going to i want to use the com, uh, comparator i want to use the max by method collector dot just do what i am doing just see what i am doing max by method inside the max by method i am using a comparator okay. comparator dot there is a method called comparing int method is there okay. i want to take the calories j dot I want to extract the calories. First argument is done. Okay. And I want to return what? I want to return optional. I want to use the get method which is inside the optional. I will explain you this way. Very simple. This is the lambda expression. System dot outer print align. Let me print the x. What output we are getting? You are getting a restaurant style. Under the restaurant style, okay, you are getting the uh, maximum calorie food 650. Okay. Under processed food style, you are getting the maximum calorie food which is 80. Under village style, you are getting batch maximum calorie food which is what 560. You are able to do what? So you are uh, extracting the type here. You are extracting the that one particular dish under this type. For that, what I am doing? I have taken the collect method, and I have taken the grouping by method. The first argument is what? It is going to extract the type. Okay. Again, there is a method called collecting, and then method is there. Okay. The purpose of collecting and then method is going to do what? It is going to accept two arguments again. 
okay firstly it is going to take uh, this argument okay it is going to extract the uh, maximum calories dish from each and every time complete line is going to extract the dish with maximum calories because you are using the max by method here first collect this collect this information and convert this to optional sometimes for example just imagine that you don't have this you don't have something like uh, you know any dish under the processor style right for example you don't have any for example let us say that the list is empty the list is empty at the moment the list is empty it is going to give the MD. Okay, uh, let me say, let me remove this. Sometimes there will be a situation. See, in our example, we are not able to correlate. Sometimes there will be a situation where the uh, you know the extracted data will not match with the. Sometimes there will be no data for the extraction. In that case, there should not be a null point exception. Just to uh, throw something like empty or something like that. For that purpose, you are using this optional. Okay. So it is just like you can uh, use this approach to uh, filter data like the way that we are doing now. maximum the moment you do instead of max by the moment you do min by method the moment you used to min by method you will get the minimum calories under each and every style only one dish you will get those are the minimum calories is under restaurant style right and uh, for processor style only juices are there so that is fine for the village style we have chapati so we have covered almost all the concepts under the grouping by method if you if you practice all these methods all these methods when i say all these methods these are the methods grouping by method uh, joining method reducing method uh, i mean uh, we have summarizing in averaging in okay practice all these methods you will get the clear picture about the grouping by method you can answer any interview questions with these examples